I think first and foremost for me it's my friends. I have amazing friends here and it's the sense of community um, and yeah but I, honestly I can't even begin to tell you how incredible the people I've met since I've come to Stroud. Um, there's a little gang of people, Vic included, um, Laura, Jesse. Um, so for me, first and foremost, it's, it's my friends. That's pretty easy. Uh, in my 20s, I played Nora Joyce, who was um, James Joyce's wife, uh, in a film called Nora. And my Joyce was Ewan McGregor. And it was an extraordinary film. And we travelled to Munich, um, Trieste, to film it. Um, and she was just such a kind of rounded character, very, very complicated. Um, and I had to do a lot of research to uh, play her. So I went to Galway and researched her. Um, yeah, so by far that was my most enjoyable role. Uh, that's a tricky one. I've been influenced by a lot of amazing people, but I would have to say it's um, a teacher that I had uh, when I was growing up called Sean Hollywood, and he was my drama teacher. And I used to go to his house, a little tiny council flat in Newry, and we used to just read these amazing plays. And he basically influenced loads of actors from my hometown. Uh, and he's encouraged me in many ways, not just in acting, but just in terms of community and the power of community. And um, we have a drama group here in Stroud called Rats. And that's very much influenced by Sean as well. He was an amazing man and really influential in terms of not just community but also how I view work and the sense of keeping that sense of atmosphere, keeping a sense of togetherness at all times. Um, so yeah, I'm very lucky I had him in my life. Oh, travel. When I was in my 20s, for some reason I got to travel to loads of different places and then in my 30s and 40s it just not as much. So absolutely travelling. I've been to Japan, I'd love to go back. Um, I'd like to do South America. Uh, so yeah, travel is definitely number one on the bucket list. Whoa, probably to brush yourself off and try again, you know, to never give up, to constantly have that feeling of beginning again. I think that's the biggest, biggest lesson. And um, yeah, it's, it's done me, it's done me okay so far. Cool. Whoa. Um, my worst quality definitely is impatience. I'm really, really impatient. Um, my best quality is that I'm loyal. I'm a pretty good friend. Once, once I'm friends with someone, I'm friends with them for life. Um, I think that is the best and the worst. But impatience is really, really bad. Really bad. <laughs>